Holy Toledo, I figured, hey, when something comes up, Joe's gonna show it. And look what we have here. Very disappointed here. Got the air conditioner on, the HVAC system is right in here. And somewhere along the line, it's leaking. And that's where the air register was, you remember? Right there. And see the water here? We've got standing water here. Look at that. It's dripping out of here. We're going to shine the light under here. And I'm going to see what it is. You see, you see right there where it's dripping? Drip. Drip. Yeah, I think you're seeing it. Okay. I had to take that register air return register off and see and see it's just dripping from there and I think you can see where it's wet where that 2x4 is then it comes across over there all that water I believe is coming from that drip it is coming underneath, underneath this bottom plate it's coming underneath the tile and kaboom it's out in the project area and I got to get this dry somehow not quite sure how just yet but we've got a nice Pan here. I'm thinking I can minimize the dripping at least. Like that. And now the drip is going into that pan at least. Now I can dry up this floor at least. I like to say at least, don't I? Yeah, that's not good. At least. <laughs> As well. Okie dokie. So now I'm going to look up under here and see what we got going on I'm still not seeing anything just yet I'm gonna have to poke my head way back up underneath there and get the light shine just right to find out what it is now I'm looking at this and it's dripping right from this corner this thing here is the condensate line and I was thinking maybe it was coming from that the condensate line dips down and it goes into a pipe over here and then it goes underneath the house and out at the back side of the house but it's not that it's dripping inside here because I shine the flashlight and this is wet right here and I looked underneath here craned my head in there and I saw that it was dripping off of the plywood which is right off of this corner okay so I know it's in here now I'm not an air conditioning guy never claimed to be but I could, if I look at this, I could probably take this panel off because see it's connected with a couple nuts, bolts there, a couple down here, six total. And I could pull this cover off and take a quick look in there. To see, I know it's not coming from there, but I'm sure an air conditioning guy is gonna have to fix it. But maybe I could pull this cover off and just look at it anyways and have it ready for someone. I, I don't know, maybe I should leave it this way looks like there's some electrical there might be some electrical wires down in there either way if I pull this cover off I'm gonna have to turn the power off to this unit all the way before I even think about working on it okay but hey things happen that's what I wanted to show you don't get too worked up about it just yet get your air conditioner guy out here take a look it might be something fairly easy to fix but one way or another We've got to get that drip stopped, and so for the time being, for the time being, I'm going to take my pan, just like I had, and slip that underneath there. Now at least I've got the water being caught into that pan for now, and I'm going to sop up, mop up this water here, because I got to get this floor dry. Okay. Well, I guess that's my next little project. Yeah, I was getting a little bit worked up at first, knowing that this was all wet and I couldn't continue with my project. But again, this is my hallway. We're gonna have enough time to get this fixed and have this dried out before I do the hallway because the hallway I'm gonna do last. I'm gonna work in the hallway last. And I'm glad I took that register out. There was only two screws that were holding that register. It was kind of caulked in, so I had to kind of pull it out kind of gently. And that's what, you, that's what you could do too. If you ever see a leak, you can investigate a little bit of it 
and see what you can do. And because I was able to pull that out and see where it was dripping, I put a big can, big bucket underneath there, and that's going to catch the water. And there's still water under there, and it's coming underneath here, down in here. This is this is still wet. Okay, it's all the way along there. So that's going to help that dry up. And man, guess I got that fixed for the time being. Well, that's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.